Hey everybody, welcome back to Gray County Grillin'. I'm Chris and today we've got a brisket and we are gonna smoke that on the Traeger, but we're gonna separate the point and the flat and I'm gonna turn the point into some delicious burnt ends. Stick around. Here is our full packer beef brisket. This one weighs about 13 and a half pounds. It's a good size. I liked it because the flat is nice and thick. You can kind of see it's got a good, well, maybe not right here, but uh, overall the flat is a good size. It's got a good point on it. And we are going to separate the point from the flat, turn the point into some burn ends, and then just smoke the flat as is to make some nice brisket slices. I've never separated a flat from a point before, so this is going to be um, interesting to say the least. So first what we want to do is get rid of just some of this hard fat here that uh, isn't going to help anything. This stuff here just does not render down. So you just want to get rid of as much of this, especially here on the point that you can. And this chunk right here. So flipping over this way, you can see this big chunk of solid fat right here, and you can kind of see where the flat goes. So you want to get in there and get rid of this, because this is no good. All right, so I've got the point and the flat separated out and I've got them nice and trimmed here. So the point, you can see I took off pretty much all of the fat cap on there. The reason for that, I mean, you can see here, there is a lot of marbling in this already. So you don't need pretty much any of that fat cap because that's not even going to really render down into the meat. So take off as much of the fat cap as you can. I left a little chunk here. Uh, just because my knife skills aren't the best. But here's the point that we're going to work with. And for the flat, um, I've taken off a good bit of the fat cap on that, uh, on the, the top side and the underside. You can see I've butchered it. I've made it look terrible, um, but I've left a good chunk of the uh, fat cap on the flat side here. Next, we are going to get some rub and get both of these all seasoned up. Okay, we've got our rub ready to go on these, and all I did was empty out three different containers of rub that I already had that I think would be good for brisket. So first is the blackened Saskatchewan rub from Pit Boss. Next is the Spice Lab Sweet Coffee Rub. And then I finished it off with uh, Sticky Fingers Barbecue Company, Where's the Fork and Beef Rub? And I think all of those, all three of those are gonna go well. So what you wanna do is just hit both sides of your brisket with the rub. All right, there we go. Hey, we're gonna let these sit for a little bit and just let that uh, flavor start to penetrate the outside of the meat. We're gonna go out and get the Traeger going, get it started up, and we'll be right back. All right, we got the Traeger up to temp. 225 is where we've got it set today. We're using Pitmaster's Choice uh, Premium Fruit Blend to start, and then I've added a, uh, a new bag of Gourmet uh, Competition Blend in there as well. Uh, Pitmaster's Choice, is an amazing pellet to use in your pellet grill. 
Uh, the pellets are amazing. They give you some good smoke flavor. They burn really well, not a whole lot of ash. So if you get a chance to pick up Pitmaster's Choice, I highly recommend it. It might only be available in Canada, so um, keep an eye out for that. And as you can see, we've got the amazing pellet tray in there as well, just to add a little bit of extra smoke flavor. So we'll start out getting the flat in. Oh, just right there. Now remember with a brisket, you wanna set it on so that it has the shape that you want at the end because that is how it's going to cook. So just keep that in mind. The point, eh, I'm not worried too much because we're going to end up slicing that into burn ends anyway, but the flat, if you can get it nice and square, it's gonna give you some really good slices, so just keep that in mind. All right, we are going to uh, get some probes in these. We're gonna take them to about 160, 170, hopefully once they power past the stall, and then uh, get the uh, burn ends all sliced up and get the flat wrapped. We'll see you in a bit. It's been about an hour now and we're going to open up and just spritz the brisket. I've just got a spray bottle here filled with some apple cider vinegar, uh, Worcestershire sauce, and some water. Oh, wow. The uh, color is starting to turn pretty good on these already. Oh, that looks awesome already. So they're moving along really quick. The point is at about 125. The flat is about 105. They're going pretty quick, so splitting them definitely helps them cook faster. Uh, I do imagine once they get into that stall, things are gonna slow down quite a bit, but I think that's a little bit off yet. Anyway, we'll uh, come back in about an hour. We're at about three hours in right now, and you can probably see this thing is smoking like crazy. The pellet smoker uh, is just flying through there. Oh, I see the problem. <laughs> uh, it looks like the flame has kind of jumped, and uh, it's really smoking it right now. Um, yeah, so that, uh, that explains that, but we're at the stall, the point is at 160, the flat is at 154, and they've been stuck there for about 15 minutes. So we're in the stall, we're just gonna ride it out. Once we get out of the stall, then we're going to wrap them both up in some foil with, um, I, don't, I don't know, some apple cider vinegar and Worcestershire sauce, probably just whatever's in the spritz right now. Uh, I am gonna open it back up and just give a quick spritz on both of them. There we go. And you can see the color is coming along perfectly on both of them. Um, yeah, things are rolling along good. We are just getting out of the stall with both the flat and the point around the same time, which is perfect. So this is the point here, and I've got it in a foil pan. What I'm gonna do is dump in a little bit of the liquid that I was spritzing it with. And then we're going to cover that with foil. And then we are going to put this right back on. I'll go grab the point, the uh, flat rather, and we are going to get it wrapped as well. All right, the point of our brisket has reached 192 degrees internal temperature, which means we are ready to go on to our next step. And that involves cubing up the point. So cut it into you know, some decent sized pieces. You don't want them too big. You don't want them too small because these are going to be, you know, bite size is uh, pretty much what you're going for here. All 
Yeah, these are looking pretty good. Hey, okay, I'm just gonna hold a piece up to show you how it looks. There you go. Got a decent smoke ring on it. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cube these up and then uh, we'll come back and show you what's next. Okay, we've got them all cubed up. Now we got them dumped back into our pan. Now we're just gonna add some brown sugar. It's gonna add a good level of sweetness to these burnt ends. Next, we're gonna throw some barbecue sauce in. And today, we are gonna be using just some bullseye sweet and sticky barbecue sauce. Nothing fancy, just some good store-bought bullseye barbecue sauce. Oh, and then feel free to add a little bit more brown sugar on top. There you go. Then just grab your pan and give everything a toss. Get that sauce all smeared around. There we go. Now we're gonna put this back on the Traeger for another hour or so until these get a nice caramelized crust on them and they are just perfect. The Inkbird is saying that the flat has reached 203 degrees internal temp. So right now we're gonna take the instant read and we're just gonna probe it for tenderness just to see. There's a little bit of resistance yet, so I think we're gonna wait a little bit longer yet. But we're almost there. All right, we are gonna check that flat again just to see how it is doing. There we go, that, that feels pretty good. Yeah, I think that is good. So we're gonna pull this out. We're going to put it into a cooler wrapped with a towel and we're gonna rest it for at least an hour. Bird ends are all done. I just pulled them off the Traeger. They look amazing. I'm gonna give one a try. There, that's what she looks like. That looks awesome. All right. Oh, that tastes really good. Got a good amount of smoke flavor to it. It's sweet, it's salty at the same time. That is good. All right, we are just gonna wait a little bit longer and then we will uh, break out the plat and get that sliced up and see how that is. All right, the brisket has rested for a good two hours and it is still really, really hot. You can see that, the steam coming off of it there. I'm doing this all outside. Uh, it is a little bit windy, so bear with me here. All right, let's get this tin foil out of the way. Oh, I just dripped stuff everywhere. Good. All right, let's slice into it. Right. Not a very pronounced smoke ring on it. Kind of disappointed at that, but I mean, the knife is just going through it like nothing. And it's 
sounds quite, quite tender and juicy. Now look at that, that's, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, that piece is just coming right apart. Look at that, all right. Oh, that is tasty. Oh, that is very good. Mm, that is a delicious brisket. All right, I'm gonna slice the rest of this up and we are going to enjoy some fantastic brisket. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that like button, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to share with your friends. And if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, don't forget about my Amazon affiliate links down in the description box below. You can find all sorts of useful things down there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.